If you've ever been in this scenario, where you've been previewing one of your user's control tubes and you notice, oh wait, a lot of the positive events are really, really high on the scale and are saturating my axis. You know you can't unmix with this as your data is going to be all stacked on the axis as well and difficult to interpret. So you're going to have to make an adjustment to the SciTech assay setting. Now for this particular dye that I'm looking at, this is a zombie violet live dead dye. When I look across all of the plots, it seems like in the UV scales, those positive events are well within the scale. But when I look at the violets, it looks like V1, V2, V3, V4, all the way up to maybe even V5 are off scale for this particular dye. Once I get to V6 onward, everything seems okay. Blue, everything's on scale. Yellow, green, everything's on scale. Red looks like there's no excitation, so everything's on scale there too. In an ideal world, whoever is using this viability dye would have done a titration to find the right staining concentration for this particular sample. However, when you need to be able to unmix and make what you have usable, you'll have to go ahead and adjust the cytic assay setting. For this particular dye, since only one laser line is off scale, we'll only need to adjust that one laser line. Now if you ever have a dye that's saturating every single one of the lasers, you'll need to go through each one of these laser tabs and adjust the gains down. So for this one, let's go to our violet dye, and I've got a couple of different options here. If I want, I can use the all channels percent gain changer, and I can bring down all of the gains proportionally across all of the channels to get everything on scale. Or, since this dye is only saturating the first five or so detectors, I could scale down just V1 through V5 proportionally. So if I decrease V1 by 20%, I can decrease V2 by 20%, and so on and so forth from V1 to V5. Let me show you what each of those look like. Let me put my tube on and start previewing. Okay, let me go ahead and decrease all of the gains by 20% and see what happens. Notice all the numbers decreased. I'll hit restart. It looks like I still have some events off scale here. So I'm going to go down minus 40%, see what that looks like. Restart. Okay, looks like V3 and V2 might still be a little high, V1 as well, so let's see what minus 55% looks like. Still might need a little bit more, I'm seeing a few events crop up on these high high bright violets. Let's do minus 65%. Okay, this should be close. I might still need to go a little bit further. Now the downside to decreasing all of the violet channels at once for this particular dye is that this dye was only off scale in five detectors, but I brought down all of these others. It might be the case that at those original cytic assay setting gains in V6 through V16, I might get better signal to noise on other dyes that peak in these later violet channels had I not decreased those. So let's undo what we did. I'm going to stop my tube for a moment here. I'm just going to toggle away from cytic assay setting and say, no, do not make my changes and then I will toggle back to it. So we're back where we started. Okay. Now, I know I had to take it down about 60 to 70% to get V1 through V5 on scale. So let's go ahead and open up a calculator. 
So for the first one, 442, let's say I want to take it down 70%, so I'll have 30% left. I want to set it around 130, 132. Let's do the same for V2. I'm at 655. Take it down 70%, means I've got 30% left. It's 197, give or take. All right, V3 is at, let's see, 577. What is 70% reduction there? It's 173. On to V4, I'm at 336. 70% reduction leaves me with 30%, which is about 101. V5 is the last one I wanted to change. That was at 555. Again, take a 70% reduction, so 30% remains. It's about 167. Okay, so this way, by reducing only V1 through V5, I'm still preserving a lot of these optimal signal-to-noise gains that we SciTech optimized for you for V6 through V16, which will help us with any dyes that we have with a lot of signal in these later channels. Now let's preview those changes. Let the events build up. V1 looks good. V2 is right at the edge. I might still want to go a little bit lower. But everybody else looks great. So if I want, I could go down another V5 to 10% to make sure this V2 doesn't go off scale. It's kind of right at the edge. Might be okay. Um, I could save this as a new setting. It could be my SciTech assay setting reduced V1 to V5. I could record this tube under the zombie violet. Then I would want to record all of my other tubes at this same setting in my reference group.